virtual analog drum synthesizer. It has four channels, which means that it can produce four sounds at once. These sounds can be triggered by pads, they can be triggered by MIDI, and these inputs can accept a variety of different types of signals. That can be pads, different types of pads, which is quite important, uh, which one you choose uh, if you want to have a super fast reaction. Um, <coughs> you can also use acoustic triggers um, and things like that. Um, it is designed to be uh, a complement as a percussion instrument. Mm. Uh, you can use it to add flavor in your acoustic uh, drum kit. Uh, you can, of course, use it as a 100% electronic drum kit if you'd like to. Um, and there are a lot of, lot of uses for a unit like this. Uh, many people need to beef up their bass drum. Uh, many people need to do stuff with their snare drum in a live situation. Uh, and this is a, 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 an excellent choice for doing so. Each of these four channels are completely identical and they consist of three components. You have the tone component, you have the noise component, and you have the click component. Noise and click are pretty obvious what they do, um, but still you have quite a few but very powerful features uh, in order to, to sculpt the, uh, the sound quality of these and also the length of these two parameters. There are several types of noises, and there are several different types of, of clicks. Uh, the tone parameter would be the body of the sound. There are many, many different interesting waveforms. Uh, some that doesn't even sound like drums, but if you tweak them, they will. Um, you can get loads and loads and loads of interesting uh, percussion noises uh, out of this one. Um, as usual, we have tried to create a very ergonomical and powerful interface, so it should be pretty easy for a user uh, just to get going and, and create their own sounds. Um, I've heard this rumor about drummers and manuals. Is that correct? You yes. Not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, that's what we thought. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything. Let's hear it. Let's, let's hear it. Down in it, like I said, I've, I've used these with uh, the cat uh, triggering system, and I use them with the dog's pads, many different. I have uh, probably four or five different kind of manufacturers at my house, and they all work with it very well. Rolls work very well, very sensitive, and there's really, n really not that much. What's really neat about it is the uh, um, the threshold. You can really bring the threshold to c cut the cut cross out, very little cross out on it, and it has the sensitivity and the threshold, which is the two major components of our pads because of, you know, normally it'd be taken off right now. We but have been uh, doing drums 